Hey guys, how's it going? Um, uh, you may remember in my last Route 110 video that I um, I was said I was going to I was heading to vacation in Florida and it was for Disney World. So I figured I would basically t talk talk to you about how it was and you know some of the goods and the bads and you know some of you who have never been there before, this video should you know maybe help give you some ideas of of where to go if you ever think of going there. Um, so what I'll start by saying was. Uh, the last time we were there was um, was in January of 2002, and to be completely honest with you, that time wasn't very good. And the only reason why I say that was because it was cold. It was literally cold. All right. It was like I think it was some days in the 40s, and most days in the 40s. Meanwhile, it was warmer here in New York than it was in Florida. So. You know, it was like, was it fun? Yeah, but it could have been a lot better if I didn't have to wear a sweatshirt and, and pants instead of shorts all the time. But, I mean, overall, it was okay. Um, and also, um, okay, so I'll get to about what we did uh, now. Now, just so you know, um, I'll throw some links in the video description for you, just so you can kind of um, get an idea of what... Um, of like what the areas are that I'm going to talk about. And I don't know how long this video is going to turn out to be, but, you know, hopefully... Um, uh, hopefully it'll uh, you'll see the time whatever when I'm when I'm done with it. So we'll just take it from there. Okay. All right. Anyway, so this vacation was a family vacation. It was it was my parents, myself, uh, my brother, and his wife. And um, the hotel we stayed at was well. These these hotels are in pairs, so to say. It, it's the Swan and the Dolphin, and uh, we we were at the Dolphin Resort. Um, the, uh, the, those hotels are kind of, um, they're a little bit further away from the park, so to say, but, uh, they still, they still have, like, you know, bus service, uh, to them or whatever, and, um, you still, you still have, you can still get to the other places, so to say, so it's not like, you know, the most disconnected one, if, if you want to call it that, um, the, um, uh, now the, uh, the hotel itself, I will say, um, it was a good hotel, you know, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, we had pretty nice rooms. Um, they have uh, good things. You know, they have a nice fountain in the in the lobby area. I like fountains. And um, they have, you know, they have they have a great pool with, like, you know, kind of a water... Uh, they have a water slide, too. Uh, they have, you know, um, they have things like they have a game room. They have many good restaurants, both... Uh, and, you know, you, you, can, you can go to either hotel uh, for wherever you want to eat um, for your... Um, uh, for whichever for whichever two of those hotels you're in, and I don't even think you have to be in those either of those ho hotels to get it. But uh, anyway, uh, okay. So basically, um, our first day, the first park we went to, of course, was Magic Kingdom. And let me tell you, Magic Kingdom is by far my most favorite th park to go to at Disney World, even to this day. Uh, the reason being is because they have the most rides out of any park, so I've noticed. And they just, it, it feels like kind of the central area, so to say, uh, because it has, you know, uh, it has like, you know, Cinderella's Castle where there's a carousel inside and uh, it has a bunch of other things. Now, okay, so now what I'll get to basically is um, I'll talk about some of the rides and stuff at Magic Kingdom. Um, now, if it's your first time going there, I would recommend going on the ride called the People Mover. And what the People Mover is, is just, um, it's just a flat ride, uh, you know, a slow to moderate pace kind of thing. And it just basically gives you uh, an overview, so to say, of many parts of Magic Kingdom, such as, you know, other rides, um, some of the stores, um, a couple of sections, if you want to call it that. So, I mean, if, if you're going there for your first time, that's probably a good place to start because it kind of gives you, like I say, it gives you an idea of, of what the place is. Now, it doesn't show you the entire park, so, I mean, you know, don't count on that just to see everything because that's not going to happen. You, you want to be able to uh, walk around as much as you can and explore as much of the park as you can because it's really great. Now, um, the, other, um, the other rides um, that, that we were on was... Um, I went to the um, there's a, there's the Astro Orbiter and what Orbiter I think that's the right and what that is is basically um, it's it's actually just above the People Mover right so it's kind of like kind of like three levels up so or two levels up rather so to say if you, if you want to put it into that perspective and it's basically a ride that you know goes around in a circle and you know it lifts up and you can kind of uh, you can control how high or low you want your um, 
how you want your how high or low you want your spaceship to go to go with the ride. It's really a lot of fun, and you know if you don't, if you can you know if you can stand you know spinning around, I can. I don't. I really don't get dizzy from it. So um, I highly recommend it. Absolutely. Um, now the um, what now uh, the other uh, there's also the uh, the racetrack which is basically like you know um, kind of like a go kart kind of thing. You just kind of drive around on a track for a bit. And it's really a lot of fun. I mean, that's um, um I'm probably going to say that a lot. Sorry, I'll, I'll just I'll just say sorry to that in advance. Okay, um, that's uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, you just kind of drive around a track, and um, if you're a little kid, especially, it's like you know, it's kind of like you know, wow, I get to drive a car. So you definitely, for little kids, that's going to be very very fun for them. And there's also um, there's also the uh, the uh, Dumbo ride. The Dumbo ride is basically the same as the Astro Orbiter, but uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but it it it's more on the ground level instead of two floors up, so to say. So basically, if you're um, if you're kind of afraid of heights, even though the ride does go up a little bit, I'd stick to the Dumbo ride. And if you want to be high up, go to the Astro Orbiter. You you'll, you'll like it a lot. Now, the most ultimate ride in Magic Kingdom is definitely Space Mountain. Space Mountain is one of the coolest roller coasters. It's basically um, you're in a you're in a, uh, how can I say this? Like, you know, you're supposed to look like you're in space, and it's a it's a roller coaster that's in, like, a dark room, so to say, with, like, stars on the ceiling, and it goes really fast. And let me tell you, you'll probably be, um, little kids may be scared of it, but, I mean, some won't. And let me tell you, it's a really thrilling ride. Now, uh, just, and, you know, lines for that ride can get pretty long, so, you know, you really uh, want to make sure that you either go at a good time or buy yourself a fast pass. Now, m my general rule about fast pass is if a ride is 30 or more minutes long, go ahead and buy one, because, I mean, I think it's worth it. Shorter than that, I wouldn't really hold that much to the time, to the wait time, because, a lot of rides that I went on, the Astro Orbiter in particular, it said the wait time was like 40 minutes. I got on in like 10. So, I mean, either they just didn't update it or it's just not that accurate. You know, one or the other. Um, now, there's also, uh, there's also, this isn't a ride, so to say, but I guess call it a show or an attraction. It's, uh, it's a, a St Stitch's Great Escape. Now, Stitch's Great Escape replaced Alien Encounter in 2002 and it's pretty much it's pretty much the same setup so to say but you know it's um everything's programmed differently but inside everything looks the same but it just operates differently so so that's definitely uh it's a lot more family friendly than alien counter used to be alien counter was very was very entertaining let me tell you but um it just it definitely would not be the most friendly thing for kids, all right? Then, so, I mean, you, you, you still kind of enjoy it, so, you know? It, uh, it should be good. And the, um, uh, what else do we have? Um, we have, um, I know it's, I know it's Buzz Lightyear related. It, it, I think it's called Space Rangers. Uh, like, like I said, you'll see a link in the video description, so you can, t you can see it from there. And it's basically just another slow moving moving ride, rather. And what you're trying to do is um, all of all of um, the uh, things of Zor of Zorg and his uh, his um, uh, what's the word and his partners. I'll just put that word out there. Um, you have to try to shoot. Um, you have to try to shoot. Uh, you know, targets on the wall, and each one is. Uh, is a different value of points. You have a score counter right on the console in front of you, and you're trying to shoot those targets as much as you can. So, I mean, like I said, it's a slow-moving thing, but being able to do that, it's a lot of fun. You know, you, it's one of those things where you want to really rank up as many points as possible. Now, um, there's the... Um, now, the Carousel of Progress. That is definitely a huge classic, because... From what I from from what it says, that was started in the World's Fair, which I obviously wasn't around for, um, and it's really good because it basically um, it's basically about progress. You know how things have advanced through each like every twenty years or so, and they um, it's gone through a couple of changes since the last time I was there. Like for example, um, I don't want to. 
put in too many spoilers, but on the last section, so to say, they have um, there's a, they have a big TV there, and it's it's now a flat screen. I, I remember it being a big CRT back back when I was younger, because you know flat screens weren't really in at the time. I mean, they existed, but they weren't really used that much. Um, and you have um, what else do you have in that? There's the um, there's actually a roller coaster um, in, under construction right now. It's um, it pertains to Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I don't know what it's called, and I'm not sure when the projected date is of, uh, is for it to open. But it looks like it's going to be very uh, a lot of fun when it opens. So that's definitely one thing to be kind of on the lookout for. Uh, you all, and I think uh, let me see. Um, like I said, you know, Cinder Cinderella's Castle has the carousel inside. You know, carousel is a simple ride, which is nice. But I mean, good luck trying to get into it because when we were there, it was either closed or it was the line was huge. So the, the, that's basically what it comes down to. So it's kind of like the look of the draw, if you want to put it that way. Uh, and you know, and you know, not not just the rides. You also have a lot of things like um, you have places to eat. You have an ice cream store. You have like a place that sells hot dogs. You know, you have your general food there, which is good. And I think all the, I think all the all, all the parks have that actually. So, and I think that's basically it for that park. Just trying to think here. Uh, you also, and yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll have like I said, just look out for those links, okay? If I missed anything, then you'll then you'll be able to tell. And then of course, the second park we went to was the uh, was the was it was Epcot. And now uh, Epcot kind of kind of has less rides and is more of the uh, like attraction, so to say. But they have um, pretty good. Um, things to look at. They, you know, I mean, they, they, their spaceship Earth, of course. That's the thing that stands out the most there. Um, you have the Interventions Fountain, which, on occasion, excuse me, uh, towards nighttime, does um, like uh, does um, kind of like a fireworks effect with with the fountain jets and everything. It's really fun to watch. Um, and there's also this um, there's also this really fun fountain for kids. It's called Liquid Layer, I think. And I don't think it does this in particular anymore, unfortunately, but back when I was there, it's really cool. The fountain is level with the floor, so you, you, you can just walk right onto it. And it also has, um, it has, uh, each fountain jet has a drain grate around it. And what would happen is it would light up every time it was about to fire off the water. And it, as a kid, like, that's, that was so much fun to play. And, like, when I played in that fountain in the 90s, it, that was, like, Probably like one of the more fun times I had there, um, and also another section of Epcot you have is the um, I think it's called Imaginations, and one thing in particular with that is there's more fountain um, mechanisms there if you want to call it that. You actually have water like shooting. I'm going to call them water pods because so that's, that's kind of what they look like. You have water shooting from like from like one to the other, and like you know kids try to like reach up and grab it before it goes in. It's really a lot of fun to watch. Um, if you're into that sort of thing. Now, there was a lot of, um, there's a lot, there's also a lot of, a lot of food places there. In particular, on the other side, so to say, um, that we ate, that we ate this Italian restaurant there. Uh, what it was called, I don't quite remember. I'll see if I can find a link for that. Um, it was okay, but I don't think the food was all that good. And I'm not the biggest fan of, like, fancy restaurants. So I think that's just kind of my, I think it's just kind of how, how I feel about places like that. Now the um, and then uh, yeah okay so I'll get to this and now uh, one place we did go to um, we uh, we uh, later uh, this is the next day or so I'm not going to really keep track of days here but uh, we went back to the Magic Kingdom and we and we took a boat to the uh, Wilderness Lodge because they have their um, I think it's called Whispering Canyon Cafe there and I have a lot to say about this restaurant okay. Um, let me start out by saying that what I'm saying about it is strictly my opinion, okay? Uh, the, um, and if you're into this kind of environment that I'm about to describe, then seriously go to it. I highly recommend it. You'll have a great time. But if you're like me, try to avoid it, and I'll explain to you why, okay? Um, it's basically a restaurant where the staff is crazy, all right? It's like you have to... For example, if you want ketchup for your table, you have to yell really loud that you need it, and people, whoever has it on the table, they have to bring you like things of like 
I don't know, 10 bottles or something. And in my opinion, that was just very annoying. And part of the problem, too, is that, you know, um, there was one part where I needed a refill on my water. And I can understand that our, our server was trying to, you know, have a good time. But, I mean, they were really pushing the envelope with this. Because they keep saying, like, you need more water, your water is empty. It, it's making me, you know, it's like, uh, it's really uh, driving me crazy. And after a while, I'm like, lady, shut up and just give me the water. I mean, I didn't say that, but that's what I thought in my head. And like I said, I mean, part of the problem could be, too, that I was walking around a park for five hours and I was exhausted. So that could have been part of it. But I mean, it's just like... Oh, just give me the water. Like, it just got really annoying. But like I said, if you like that kind of environment, go to it. I will say the food was the food's very good. I have no complaints about that. But don't go there if you're tired because you'll just get extremely annoyed, all right? Just, just, just don't. <laughs> so another thing we did was I went to – we went to the um, – the Kennedy Space Center, and that was really cool because uh, my dad in particular loves astronomy. He um, and he's been a huge fan of that well, probably since he was a kid, and um, it shows you you know good things about you know the history about astronauts who went to the moon. Um, they even bring you to the showing of what it was like in the control center during the launch, which was really cool and realistic, which I definitely recommend. And that's basically like, you know, um, Kennedy Space Center is basically just, um, there's no rides or anything, just kind of, it's like a museum of sorts, you know, you, you just see, um, like, you know, the, the different, um, the, the different rockets, the different, um, like, uh, quotes from the uh, crew people, things like that. And it's also, um, I think that's about it, actually, uh, for that, um, if, if I'm not mistaken, okay. And, yeah, I think that is. Okay. And, uh, you know what, guys? This uh, video is going on 16 minutes, as I can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a Part 2 video. And the Part 2 video is going to be going to mention a couple more of, of Magic Kingdom in the last part of it. But I'm going to talk about the resorts uh, starting the next video, right? So um, if you want to hear about those, just uh, go ahead and click on the next video, and I'll see you there.